What up, and this is Johnson, boy, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change your monitor settings, yes, I am black from playing a dirt bike game. Now, I got my boy Morgan here, and I got my boy Jay here. We are on Paletta V2 and Too Fast Racing. I am on the Kawasaki 250, and uh, today we're just going to go over what I think is the best tires to run for a 250. Um, you guys know me, dude. I love this Kawasaki 250, and I've been trying to find everything I can do to perfect it. So, I think today is the day that I tell you, like, I've been running 90 tire, and I just changed from a 110 uh in the back to a 120 but it's medium 90 medium 120 shout out to morgan shout out to morgan right now uh what's up baby uh jay what's up baby what's good what's good yo shout out what's to these good? guys shout out to morgan dude uh definitely for weto racing's uh setup kind of guy he, he is our, our setup guy and uh yeah he was able to tell me to put on these 90 and a 120 on the back and it's just been so much grip what a guy what a guy what a guy i saved it Oh man, Russian roulette. Dude, literally, Paletta V2 is literally Russian roulette with one bullet missing. Why would you do that, dude? Where's where's the knowledge? <laughs> right behind Hayden Deegan. Shout out to that guy. Go a little, little fatty for him. Go a little another fatty. Well, that being said, guys, these, these tires are actually where it's at. You guys can see it. Uh, I always like to show you guys a race environment just to show you that, like, I don't want to run around a track and by myself. I feel like this is just kind of boring and MX bikes is always better with races and people. So thank you, Jay. Thank you, Morgan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be peasy. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I don't know if we have any too crazy fast people up in here, but I know Morgan and Jay might be on my, my barkage here soon after they get out of that lap traffic. Oh, I'm it's trying. fucking events. Now, what I can say about this, I feel like my starts, I should say at times, since there's so much traction, um, they are a little slower, but I mean, obviously it's MX bikes, you know, starts, starts are eh to me. The only, only reason I say that is because like literally it doesn't matter if you get a good start, somebody could be having the worst day ever and be like, I'm going to take you out. Um, it happens all the time. And I wish I would have been running this 120 here uh, probably like 45 minutes ago because I just got done racing Spain on High Society. Shout out to High Society. Um, yeah, we raced there. I did qualify 17th place for for Spain. I think I ran like a 144. I had a 143 in me. I fell. <laughs> Story of my life. So, yeah, I mean, not bad, but I wish I would have had the 120 on the back. Um, I did try to, the 80 there uh, on the front, and yeah, I just had too much front tucks. So 90 in the front and a good... Uh-oh, trouble. Whoopsie. Look at these guys barking. Yeah, and then uh, 120 on the back, medium, dude. These these extra grip. So, Jay, what what could you say, Morgan? What could you guys say about these <laughs> tires so far? Super grippy. Uh, they're more grippy. There's a little bit more uh, like less resistance on the tires, so they're easy, a little bit easier to spin up. So, I mean, that kind of just helps it like the bike react overall. Oh yeah. See, I, I never want to be like a biased. Um, biased opinion guy. That's why I always have people around and definitely give me their their feedback. You guys think there's like any like huge cons to it, or you think it's just all pros? I haven't had a single con happen yet. If you're Fair gripping, enough. you're ripping. Five Johnson. Uh, oh. kind of like what you said with the starts. Like the starts are a little bit iffy with it, but you gotta kind of lean forward a little bit more than you would normally. Okay. So a full lean over. Wow, dude, you've got. I would say fully owner, lean over, but like a little bit more than you normally do. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta work the clutch with the, like with the tire if that makes mm. sense. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, right? <clears throat> I I hear this like happen a lot. Different tires comes for different circumstances for different suspensions. Is that something that that actually is true? I heard it's a rumor. Maybe not be a rumor, but. Does different tires come with different kind of suspension works, like to where you need to change your suspension? I mean, it all kind of depends on how the bike sits and how much traction it needs. So I would say, yeah, definitely. So do you think we're, I mean, I feel like you've already had this bike so so dialed in and it's just been waiting for us to put on the medium tires. But uh, would you say for other 250s slash 450s, definitely if you're coming from a mid soft, um, you might want to tweak your, you might want to tweak your stuff for a medium? Uh, it just kind of depends, like what you said, it just depends on the bike, which, uh, like, some bikes have more, like, traction and, like, you know, than others do. Mm, fair enough. So, 
like with the Honda, likes the like you know the back end's not very good on that bike, so you want a little bit more traction. Yeah, type John, I felt that. Uh, same thing with the KTM and the Husky, but like stuff with like the Yamaha, those bikes are really planted, so you maybe want a little bit less resist, like more resistance for the rear wheel. Got you. I see what you're. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I felt that. Now, do you think like I know regular PSI? For instance, I use US metric. For my PSI, like 15.2, if you guys know what I'm understanding, I know other people have like the bar to it's like 1.05 and all that. Now, he did say turn both down to 14.5. Uh, I've had mixed reviews to where people like to load the front to where it's like less twitchy to where you just keep it at stock and then you put the backside at like 14.5 because you want all that pressure on there. But he turned it down to 14.5 on both and so far I haven't had too much of a problem um, I did try regular 15.2 and then a 14.5, but I felt like this just feels better. Coming up on my first lapper on a Suzuki W to Parker. But yeah, I don't know. If that means. Wow! Parker! Peter Parker. That's how we're going to get into things, huh? Okay. Homie literally, like, I, I thought he let me go and then he literally landed on me. Ah, what a guy. Shout out to this guy Grills, man, barking with this Husqvarna 125. Deegan kept cleaning me out. Not the Deegs. What about you, Jay? You kind of like for a 200 hour rider, do you recommend these tires? Oh, yeah. I recommend them. Yeah. I think if you're looking for something that sticks, it works. Ooh, easy. Now, are you more. Are, what, what, how should I say this? Are you guys happy that like kind of Reaper Doc and all of them kind of shared this information and didn't hide it from the rest of the group, from the team, from the community? I'm not saying they're bad people or anything like that. Like saying like, you know, they were going to hide it. I'm just saying like, is it is it a W in your guys' eyes for the community for them to share this? Yeah, of course. Uh, no doubt. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. which I was kind of testing the medium tire a little bit before. Mm -hmm. But I was like just kind of waiting for something to happen because I, I don't really know. So no, not really more placebo effect, but it, it kind of is like literally how it is, right? Like they said, yeah, it, 100 percent. Yeah, and I, I respect it to 100. So shout out to Reaper Doc for sharing this information and coming out with a video for it. I felt like I felt like a lot of people were kind of kind of crapping on the uh, the OEMs a lot. But I feel like these tires are bringing the OEMs back. Like, uh, it might be my own personal opinion, but I, I know I love OEM and I felt like they just needed more grip and they needed to find the right bearings. And I think these tires are definitely where it's at. I mean, good setups, obviously. OEM's all about setups and all about honestly playing the game because it's, it's more simulation, you know? Factory's more of a let's get on the game and have fun, which is nothing wrong with that. You know, some people get off a hard day of work and they just want to ride the game. They just want to play the game. So I'm not mad at that at all, but you know, for some of us that are enjoying grindy games, these bikes are where it's at, man. OEM, it just has my heart. Like, I want to get in here and be like, damn, I know I'm not the fastest rider yet. Like, I know I have more speed. Where can I find it? What can I do to be better? And I, that's why I enjoy riding these bikes every night. So, I don't know. I could get behind that. Nobody right? was a bigger OEM hater than me. Yeah, you feel me? And I ride them every night. I haven't even touched the friggin' factory bikes, yeah. not one bit. Yeah, you know? I don't like the factory bikes. And I feel bad because I feel like at times we probably could get more of a presence of people wanting to ride in the server when we when we go live. I uh, guys, I do go live every night um, around 5 p.m. Central, but I, you know we'll, we'll save that for then. But yeah, you know I feel like we could get a bigger presence of people coming through. Um, I feel like we set, fill up pretty nice. But if we were to put those factory bikes in, I don't know how many times I've heard people say, "Can you put the the factory bikes in?" But I tell them no. Simple as it is, like I just don't want easy riding in the server, you know. Like, I don't want to be on a 250 OEM and then literally getting smoked by a Kawasaki factory that literally is just honestly cruising for a bruising because they don't have the exact same, you know, geometry or whatever you want to call Poboho, Poboso physics. That's us. Poboho. Yeah. <laughs> Poboho. And I think sharing this kind of stuff is definitely better for the community. A lot of people, like, especially in the higher hours, they, kind of, they want to gatekeep all their stuff. And yeah. I get it. I definitely understand, especially from a race aspect, but not, it, setups are never a one size fits all. So just because you're sharing some secrets or whatever doesn't necessarily mean it's it's going to make anybody better. 
yeah. but at least you're giving them a chance to They're, try. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and I like it's that. all about like making everyone better, not just yourself. And yeah, and and I think at the, the end biggest of the day, thing. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. My fault. My fault. No, no, I'm, I was just gonna follow that up with like at the end of the day, it is just a game. Yeah. And the game would be a lot better if everyone, all the top people, just stopped gatekeeping and just came together as a whole to try to make everyone better yeah and i i feel like at that point with that being said like i get if you're a pro you know what i mean like obviously you're gonna want to win you're gonna want to keep that stuff for yourself because you want the more advantage 100 percent. and i've heard cam come in here the fastest rider on the game at the moment i've had him come in here and say if you're really fast you don't need a setup they may help you and help you tweak out but like be honest like if you're really pushing p then you're that guy but like at the end of the day, he comes in here and helps out the most. And that guy literally was lapping the field by 120 seconds. So, like, if the fastest rider is not trying to gatekeep things, it just goes to show, like, you know, what, what, what's the reason? We're here to we're here to grow the community, not decimate the community. So I think it was a huge shout out to Reaper Doc and uh, just uh, sharing that information and allowing, I should say, smaller community, uh, smaller smaller content creators like me, Skizzy, other people around, Smokester, uh, Maddie. Just everybody around just to be able to, sh you know, show this information off and try to get to our community for everybody who doesn't know Reaper Doc. So I think it's a huge thing, man. Next one. So if you guys want to do me honors, it's your boy IBS Kelso. And I'll catch you in the next one. Pa 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 pa